Bethesda Game Studio's most anticipated title is The Elder Scrolls VI. Most developers would already be deep into development on a project that fans are so eager to get their hands on, but Bethesda Game Studios is not your typical developer. We've already been told on multiple occasions that there are two big RPGs coming before The Elder Scrolls VI, and at E3 2017 it was all but confirmed a sad reality, and that is that Elder Scrolls VI is probably at least a half a decade away. On the contrary, imagine being a Fallout fan. We may not see a Fallout 5 for about a decade at the rate that Bethesda Game Studios releases games. But Bethesda's Pete Hines at E3 2017 responded back to anger about not having a new BGS game announced at the event, in which he pretty much said that their next game is not ready to be shown and gamers shouldn't listen to quote unquote Bethesda employees on 4chan. Reiterate, they have at least two major titles that they're they are working on before we're gonna get to Elder Scrolls 6. With Jeff, we gave you that nugget, and somehow everybody, including your friend and mine, Michael Pactor, like somehow everybody missed that. I tried to manage expectations for folks. You know the kind of games they make, they take exactly. a while, but they have, they have two two major things that they're working on, in addition to a lot of other stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, Skyrim Switch and, and, and all of these other things. Yeah. And, um, but uh, yeah, they are hard at work. They have a lot going on. Um, and, you know, like I said at, at the out, Set. Um, looking forward to talking about that stuff when we get to a point where we can really show what they're working on and not yeah. just speak to it, but like, here it is, here's exactly kind of what it's going to be, and uh, looking forward to those, and then we'll get to test six. <laughs> I think some people interpret that like, oh, they're working on all three at once, but no. it's sort of like you have to, they, there's no, slots, No, we're pretty right? clear, like, test yeah. six is not in dev while yeah. we work on, I mean, we're not talking about small things, we're not talking yeah. about like a, a fallout shelter kind of project, like yeah. big multi-platform releases like you expect from BGS. Well, and that's the thing is, you know, I'm sure you see all the rumors where people are like, oh, Todd's got his whole team planned out through 2032 or something I yeah, saw. Yeah, for sure. And look, there, there was a lot of, last night, that, you know, there were some the folks on various message boards that were posing as Bethesda folks. I have inside right. info and like found some trademark that we found and started spouting off. We're going right. to reveal this and we're going to reveal that. And, you know, I'm not in a position of being able to just jump in and pour water on, right. on every rumor. And if you don't know what he was referring to in that last part, before E3 2017 began, there were some outrageous claims coming from a supposed employee of Bethesda that pretty much said that Starfield would come this year, all Bethesda Game Studios titles are connected, and there's been discussion on the scope of the Elder Scrolls 7, which there's a reason why I didn't make a video on this, because this leak made no logical sense. Either way, Pete also did confirm that The Elder Scrolls 6 is still not in development. So it's safe to assume that their next game, which is said to be a space RPG called Starfield, will probably be coming in late 2018. And if the pace doesn't change, the game to follow, which very much could be a Fallout or Elder Scrolls spin-off, will come around 2021, and then finally The Elder Scrolls 6 in 2024. But a lot of factors will contribute to that, and two of those include the company growing at Bethesda Game Studios Montreal. First off, with any company, the more manpower you have, the faster you can get things done. Over the years, Bethesda Game Studios has grown from just one studio in Maryland to now two, which includes their smaller Montreal studio. Within the next couple of years, we could see each studio grow, and with the huge sales coming from Fallout 4 and the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, this could help each studio hire more developers. So far, it's said Bethesda Game Studios stands at around 200 employees, which compare that to Ubisoft, who employs thousands of developers, there's a reason why they have games out yearly and Bethesda's take much longer. But at the same time, you could also make a case for Todd Howard's and the Bethesda Game Studios team's scope being a little bit bigger than your average Ubisoft game. Now the second important factor is Bethesda Game Studios Montreal, who have so far only worked on smaller things like Fallout Shelter. Currently the studio has been rumored to be making another mobile game, possibly to release alongside the rumored upcoming space RPG Starfield, but they've also been linked to hiring for a quote unquote bleeding edge AAA freemium game. Aside from the scare of seeing a freemium RPG from them, this could also mean that Bethesda Game Studios Maryland is working on Starfield, which hopefully isn't too far from completion, and Bethesda Game Studios Montreal has begun development on their second mysterious game. So if all this does fall into place, this could point to getting The Elder Scrolls 6 sooner, but the sad reality and truth still is, we're not going to be getting this for at least 5 more years. I think that with the recent Creation Club announcement at E3 2017, which, well, I mean, it'll add content for Fallout 4 and Elder Scrolls V Skyrim players, although it's not exactly what many of us want, it'll keep these games going with hopefully interesting and innovative DLC. Also, wouldn't it be awesome if a studio like Obsidian were to make something for Skyrim or Fallout 4? I mean, I'd pay for it. We also need to look at other moves by Bethesda, with Fallout 4 VR 
Skyrim PlayStation VR, and releasing Skyrim wherever they can. Moves like these keep these franchises alive, although most of us just want a new Elder Scrolls or Fallout. What I can guarantee for sure is that at the next three E3 showcases, Pete will continue to tell people Elder Scrolls 6 is still far away, and that is the sad truth. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and let me know down in the comment section below when you think the Elder Scrolls 6 will release. Also consider subscribing to stay up to date on huge upcoming games like the Elder Scrolls 6, and I'll see you later.